pineapple pizza, very controversial. Some people will never eat it, it's not Italian, right? But actually, I think also Italian eat pineapple pizza, which is, okay, Hawaii pizza. But what about pineapple anchovy pizza? Hmm, I saw, I saw this latest video with Joe Rogan and Elon Musk and I got quite inspired, so let me try it. Never heard about pineapple anchovy pizza, so I wanted to taste it. And now, today, we are going to make both of these pizzas and taste it. If you already know my recipes, then the ingredients and the process of preparing pizza dough are familiar to you. Therefore, we just quickly review how to prepare an easy and authentic pizza dough. If you haven't made this dough before, check out my previous posts and videos. And we almost got to baking pizza. Divide the dough into four parts. Form small bands from each dough piece and leave to rest for another 30 minutes. Meanwhile, preheat the oven to maximum top heat. I used a pizza stiller for baking pizza. If you want to learn more about the methods, how to bake pizza like in an Italian pizzeria, Check out the video link or my blog where I will walk you through all the methods in details, their pros and cons. Meanwhile, the oven gets preheated and small pizza doughs rest. Let's prepare the ingredients for pineapple pizzas. We need pineapple, then either tomato passata or tomato polpa. If you like garlic, then minced garlic with olive oil or only olive oil. Grated hard parmesan, basil, mozzarella torn or cut into small pieces, ham cut into small pieces, and finally anchovy fillets in olive oil. After 30 minutes, return to pizza dough. First, let's prepare Hawaiian pizza. Start with shaping pizza. Flour the workspace so that the dough does not stick. Either push the dough out of from the center or place it on your fist and shape it like a mushroom. It all depends on the quality of the dough. Place the shaped dough on a pizza peel with a cutout of baking paper that is slightly smaller than the pizza itself. This way, it is easier to place pizza onto a pizza steel. Now let's start adding toppings. First, tomato passata or polpa. Do not use more than three tablespoons. Then comes the basil. I used frozen basil leaves from summer. The basil should be covered with a hard cheese such as parmesan or grana padano to prevent it from burning. Then add the mozzarella pieces. One mozzarella pack of 125 grams is enough for two pizzas. Then place pieces of sliced ham and pineapple on the pizza. I use fresh pineapple for four pizzas. You will not use more than half of the pineapple or maybe less. It depends on the size of the pineapple. For one pizza, we need about 15 pieces of pineapple. Place the pizza onto a heated pizza stone or pizza steel in the preheated oven at maximum power. After about a minute and a half, remove the baking paper from under the pizza and continue baking. In my 300 degrees Celsius oven, the pizza is usually done in four and a half minutes. When the pizza is baked, take it out of the oven with a pizza peel. Transfer to a wooden plate and brush with prepared olive oil with or without garlic. Slice the pizza and serve immediately. Remember to clean the pizza stone or pizza steel after each bake. 
If you don't do this, the next time you bake, the dirt will burn and it will stink unpleasantly. How about pizza with pineapple and anchovy? You can prepare it the same way as Hawaiian pizza, but instead of ham, use anchovy fillets. But be careful not to use too many, so the pizza is not too salty. I recommend about 6 anchovies for one pizza. Bake the pizza in a similar way to the first pizza. After baking, like a Hawaiian pizza, the pineapple anchovy pizza is brushed with olive oil, with or without garlic. Slice and serve immediately. Before I tell you my verdict, subscribe to my channel. It is my motivation to create more content for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Finally, it's tasting time. Hawaiian is a very good one and we usually, we know what we are getting and eating. So let's try this anchovies pizza. Mm, quite interesting taste. Mm. <laughs> Little bit salty. Little bit sweet. It has everything. And um, I would, which one is my favorite? I think Hawaii is my favorite, but my men like this one with anchovies. So basically you can try it. It's worth trying. Mm -hmm.